Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in a forest above the Hungarian city of Sopron. We're climbing up into the hills. We're looking for a fake castle. Somewhere up here, there's a whole castle, but it's not the ancient castle, it seems. Let's continue up the path and let's go and find this unusual place. Well, after walking up through the woods for about a mile up a winding path, which was very pleasant, I'm now in quite a posh residential area. And uh, here we are, I found it. The gates there to the Tour de Var. So this is this fake castle or a folly we've come to see. Now follies come in all shapes and sizes. I've made various videos on follies before. This one, I'm not quite sure what to expect other than I know it's a, a castle. I think I can see it ahead of us. So we go in here and it looks like the entrance to the castle is just ahead. I bet somewhere around the corner I'll pay to go in. So basically, yeah, a folly is, well the word folly means not real. So this is a castle that's not a real castle. It's a castle someone's built up here to look like an old medieval castle. And have a look at that, there it is in front of us. It, you could easily think it's an old medieval castle, but it isn't, it's purely a folly. Sometimes follies are just one tower, but then there are a few that are a complete castle, like this one. So there we are, the Tour de Var is in front of us. We're gonna go and have a look. I can just see people are inside. There's something, I don't think the camera's picking it out, but on the keystone above the arch, there's something there that gives it away that it's not the medieval castle. It looks like, it says date. 1951 so yeah fairly old but you know 70 years old it's quite young for a castle so it's it's a fake castle it's not it's never been under siege or anything like that it's purely it's, it's folly the word folly so as we come round here to round the battlements and um oh yeah ahead belio that means entrance just this word here on this gateway that's where, so it says um, 7,000 forint, no 700 forint, just not a lot. So let's go in and have a look around this castle. So I've just paid to come in, so we're inside. What we're going to do, we're going to go up here and look around the interior of the castle first. And then we'll go and look around the exterior. So just a little bit about the castle. It's called the Turidi Var. That's named after the gentleman who built the castle, Mr. Turidi. He worked in a factory, but he would come and work on the castle in his spare time. So this is effectively was his house, this part of the castle. Oh, look at that, that huge wine drum. I'm assuming this was here first and they built the castle around it unless they took it apart to bring it in. Look at this, all these tiles on here. So yeah, he began to build it in about in 1951, as we saw on the main tower. And then what happened was after a while, he started letting people in and entry was free, but people would make donations and then the donations would go towards, you know, improving the castle. So then more people would come and visit and he continued to expand and extend the castle to the point it's this huge castle We've only seen a little bit of it. We're just, we're, I suppose we're effectively in the keep. Although, as I said, it's never actually been under siege. Um, so, and then unfortunately he passed away in about 2018, I think, at the age of 87. He worked on this castle until the age of 82. So it really was his life's work. I think it's a pretty amazing building. Come into this room here. There's something quite interesting. There's a carved wooden model of the castle so we effectively came up here towards this tower but we came around here went in there and we're in this building here now so we're going to look around we're looking around this building and go up to the roof and eventually we'll go outside and we'll have a look at this part of the castle so it's all, all very exciting there's um some sort of various paintings of castles on the walls that's not a painting hung on the wall that's actually painted on the wall itself so that's uh, pretty amazing. What we'll do now, we'll go through up to the roof and then we can have a look at the, or look at that up there on the ceiling. All sorts of um, equine, horsey things hanging down. So um, we'll go through here now and then we'll go up onto the roof of the castle where we'll be able to look down. Uh, we've just got to wait for some people to come down the stairs and then we'll go up and have a look. So let's go up these stairs. And look, this is quite 
exciting. Always enjoy going up places like up to the top of towers and you know up on the roofs. It's always exciting to get to up here. It's like another room there which we can't go in. Ah, and here we are. We are going outside. We are now on the roof of the castle. Wow, this is impressive. Oh look, there's more more of the castle. We can't just go in that bit, but let's go up these steps and have a look. Look at that. That's really impressive. And from here, get quite a good view. You can see out of the surrounding forests. There's a TV tower there. I recently made a video, went up the TV tower in Zalare, I guess they're great. You can actually go up it, have a look at the link on screen now, see that video. I don't think you can go up that one, but we're up here, so that's quite cool. Well, these are the chimneys from downstairs. Yeah, so it's quite exciting being up here. Look, there's a witch on a broomstick. So, we have a look. So there's another tower there, we can't go in there, but there's a, a spiral staircase going down in there. There must be all sorts of other passageways and everything we can't go in. Um, so like there's a building there, because I think the ancestors of Mr. Truity, who started the castle, possibly still live here. So there's like, yeah, we, we came in, when we came in a moment ago, we were right down there, just where that well is. Um, and I think there's like passageways all around there. It's really quite impressive. That's the big tower hidden behind the tree slightly, which we saw when we came in. Um, and then, yes, there's obviously those towers. Down here is effectively like the Barbican and everything. So I think we've seen all what we can see up here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back down there and we'll explore down in the Barbican. So here we are, we're back down on the ground. So that was where we went in a moment ago. We were up there on the roof. We're now going to explore the lower part of the castle. So it's all quite fascinating. Everywhere you look, there's just like doorways and passageways. I'd love to explore them all, but there's only something I actually can do. There's a well, which goes quite a long way down there. It's a uh, yeah, really fascinating place. Here is the, the main tower, just here. So that's what we could see from outside. There's a big ball hanging down here. You wouldn't want that dropped on your head. Oh, look at there. How obvious it is, but if you look up there, there's a, um, like a ladder across. I don't know if you can see that. You can see a ladder across from there to there, from the tower up to the keep. That'd be quite fun to walk across. Now let's go up here and see what else we can see. There's a little souvenir shop just there. So you can buy postcards and fridge magnets etc. There's another sort of tower there. It's really um, weird in a good way and fascinating. It's pretty big. It's not It's not small at all. It has the feeling of an ancient castle but as we know it's all not that ancient at all. But then again that's what a folly is. I think yeah looking at that to me that looks a bit too many different styles so I think if I saw that I'd know that's not a real castle, but it's all, you know, it's, it's kind of got its own little place in history for being an interpretation of a castle. Well, there's always that saying, every man likes to be king of his castle. Well, this man literally was king of his castle. He, he must have just sort of got, I know he bought all the material up here from quarries. I would, I get the impression possibly if buildings maybe down in Chopron city centre were demolished, he may have acquired some stones from them. There's all these other little bits and it's can't go into, but you sort of wonder what goes beyond them. There's doors everywhere. There's a harrow there for ploughing. It's uh, yeah, just just a strange sort of place up here on the hill. And yeah, mysterious and but I like it. It's it's, it's quite fascinating. I mean, it cost me 700 florins to come in. In English money, that's about one pound eighty. It's it's so it's not a lot of money to come in either. And uh, yeah, there's just stuff everywhere. So yeah, and there's the roof again where we were. So I hope you enjoyed this video from the Turidivar, the fake castle in the Hungarian city of Chopron. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.